Welcome to our weekly maritime vlog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. We have Bennett, as you know, the best producer in the world of vlogs behind the camera. Mr. B doing his thing on the floor in charge of security. This week, we are going to discuss autonomous shipping. We've never really on this vlog talked about autonomous shipping or the automation of different parts of shipping. If you look at the history of shipping, there's different parts of a vessel that are already automated. Most vessels on the bridge have an autopilot that controls their speed and their course and it travels right along a plotted course line. So that's not new technology. That's been around for a number of years. We've seen automation within the engine control systems. There's automation on the port ship interface. There's automation within cruise lines. So over the past few years, we've seen automation slowly creep into different parts of the operations, whether it's a, a large yacht, a cargo line, or a cruise line. But if you're a consumer of maritime news or any maritime publications, over the last couple of years, you've probably seen a number of articles that have been written on autonomous shipping. And what that means is automating shipping to a level of reducing the number of crew members that are required to actually move that ship from point A to point B. Now, there's some companies when it comes to research and development and what they're doing that they're looking to take that from a cargo perspective to remove all the crew members and the ship operates autonomously on its own from point A to point B. There's a lot of research and development that's being done. Um, two companies that have really kind of pioneered that. Now, I know there's a number of companies who've been involved, but two of the bigger ones in the maritime industry are Rolls-Royce Maritime and Kongsberg. And there's been a number of things that have taken place uh, between those two companies to move forward on autonomous shipping. And this topic and research and development is moving very rapidly in this space. There's a lot of people in the industry that believe that we should never fully remove all of the crew members from a vessel, that there's management pieces and things that need to take place on board. Um, and it's going to be an interesting discussion and eventually probably a debate as we move forward to see what this looks like. But autonomous shipping is coming. The automation of the movement of a vessel from point A to point B is going to happen. So as an industry, we need to start to look forward to be able to prepare ourselves for that. There's been a lot of research and development when we look at automated vessels or what people call drone vessels. Uh, that's been going on for probably 10 or 15 years. I heard about this when I was in the Coast Guard of people being able to use uh, automation to take a regular 20-foot center council vessel and make it into a remote controlled drone vessel. That's actually not hard to do and that technology has been improving to use those vessels for surveillance, to use those vessels in different coast-wise type maritime security and surveillance related operations. So from an autonomy standpoint, that's been taking place for a long time. We've just seen this now start to creep into the larger vessels and specifically into the shipping industry. In the first segment, we talked a little bit about Rolls-Royce and Kongsberg. Something interesting happened uh, in 2018, depends again on when you're watching this, but in 2018, Kongsberg has made a bid to acquire all of Rolls-Royce's maritime operations with the exception of the Rolls-Royce naval operations. So all of the autonomous shipping work that Rolls-Royce has done will now be moving into Kongsberg. This is going to start to play out in the fourth quarter of where we are right now of 2018 and probably into 2019. Both companies are worldwide organizations that operate across multiple jurisdictions. So this acquisition will have to get regulatory approval across multiple jurisdictions. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. However, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in research and development. And there's a number of really kind of cool small companies. And I'll raise my hand and say IMSA is one of them because we have been secretly working on a couple of things when it comes to autonomous shipping. And you'll find out more about that in a future vlog, probably in 2019 when we can talk about it. But there's a number of little cool technologies that are taking place across the industry to be able to help move this forward. So as we progress forward as an industry, we want to look at how we can harness this technology, how we can use this technology to improve our operations. But also, we have to start thinking right now what the crew complement and the crew makeup on board a vessel is going to be because it's going to be a lot different than it is today. So we need to start thinking about that from a vessel management, a crew management, but also a training 
training perspective and certification of how that's going to look in five to ten years. As with everything, I always like to put the regulatory compliance spin on it. As autonomous shipping moves forward, there is going to be a ton of work that will need to be done by the IMO, its member states and governments around the world as to how this autonomous shipping is regulated. And as with everything, there's going to be little nuances and differences within each flag and within each kind of country jurisdiction. And the regulatory compliance side of this is going to lag far behind the development of the technology. There's already discussions, but nothing really has been put forward, nor will it be put forward until we see how this technology presses forward. So watch for future vlogs on this topic over the coming years as we talk about autonomous shipping, the technology, and what the regulatory compliance is going to look like. If you're interested, in 2019, on June 25th through the 27th, there's going to be a conference in Amsterdam this coming next summer about autonomous shipping. We may or may not be there as IMSA. We'll let you know in a future vlog. But for planning purposes, if you're interested in the topic, this is going to be a really interesting conference to attend. Hey, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate all the viewers that we have. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when we put out cool new videos like this one. Also, hit that like button on all the videos you like. Leave comments down below and suggestions. Ask us questions. Connect to us through our social media that's detailed in the banner above and also in the comments section below. We want to hear from you guys. Our audience is so important. We want to push forward and discuss topics of interest to you guys in the maritime industry. If you have any questions when it comes to maritime risk management, maritime regulatory compliance, or maritime security, don't hesitate to reach out to us here at IMSA. We have some phenomenal experts that work here that can help you through and answer your questions for each one of those topics. Because remember, we always want to steer you in the right direction.